Rungy tuning condenser. I'll run it through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner numerous cycles, but uh, before so, I'll take it outside and uh, just give it a good rinse with some water, and then I'll do some de rusting as well. Probably just use my uh, citric acid like I've done in the past. Already starting to take shape and look a little better. I'll move it over now to uh, the citric acid mixture and uh, probably a couple baths over a 12 hour period. And my ratio of citric acid and water, one teaspoon with two cups of water. I'll probably increase that and uh, just a few drops of dishwashing liquid as well. Let this sit for a while, then move it over to the ultrasonic cleaner with some citric acid back outside for a quick rinse and then you can see I've placed it back in some fresh clean water with some more citric acid let a little bit more of the rust dissolve for a period of time after soaking the tuning condenser for about 24 hours in some citric acid warm water I removed it, gave it a nice uh, bath outside, and uh, made up another mixture. And then I ran it through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, as you can see here, uh, about five cycles for about 35 minutes in total. Uh, back outside, rinsed it off, used a uh, Scotch-Brite pad, cleaned things up best I could, and then uh, immediately dried it off with forced air. A lot of flash rust occurred on the uh, frame itself. So uh, to minimize that and to correct the issue and ask, act as a rust inhibitor, you can see I just used a crud cutter and uh, just put some here in the bowl, wiped it on with a brush and I'll let that dry. And that, that should give me a good protection and uh, keep this thing from uh, rusting again at least for a year or more. Should be in a dry environment now instead of a moist environment, so I think it'll hold up pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and clean those uh, pieces of mica with some alcohol and get those placed back in, do a basic capacitance check for each section. And I'm gonna hook up the multimeter as well, make certain I don't have any of the plates uh, shorted again from uh, stator to rotor. And then this thing will be ready to go back in, less the uh, grommets. Again, I'll remove these and cut these pieces out. Let me uh, zoom in here and I'll let you take a closer look at the uh, tuning condenser after the uh, thorough bath. Try to keep that focused and spinning around. But uh, you can tell this thing looks a heck of a lot better than it did. There's some petting up here on this uh, top bar, but I'm not going to do anything with it. Again, just a, a few coats of the uh, crud cutter to act as a rust inhibitor, and I'll let that be. I still need to uh, lubricate the uh, drive as well. I haven't done that after taking it out, but it uh, rotates freely and you can see the uh, spring in there as well. Got everything, I believe, adjusted back where it was at when I found it. Spin this back around. So let me go ahead and get those pieces of mica cleaned up, get those inserted in here. And uh, just make certain again that the uh, tuning condenser is actually uh, performing as a variable capacitor. And as you guys probably noticed, I left the uh, lead wire from the uh, antenna section that runs back over to the uh, what, 6 alpha 8 tube, I believe. And a look at the tuning condenser. 
from different angles. Again, one thing left to do would just be the lead wire dress over to the antenna and the gamut capacitor from the oscillator section. But uh, cleaned up pretty well considering my uh, starting point. And everything checked well between the stator and rotor, so no DC resistance, and just rotating it through to look at capacitance uh, per section. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, more updates to come as time permits.